Hey everybody, welcome to uh, Galactic Civilizations 4. Uh, we're going to be playing this a little bit on the channel throughout its development. We're, we just reached the uh, the beta of the game. Uh, the beta just came out a few days ago on Epic. Uh, and Stardock was nice enough to send over a uh, review code for it. And uh, as someone who played a lot of Gals of 3, uh, I'm really excited to try this one out. So we're going to go ahead and get into a new game. We're going to uh, choose our race. There's so many available races already. Uh, didn't expect this many in the beta. But uh, there are 18 available races at the moment. So we're going to pick one of them. Let's see what this tree. The bear attack grows sentient tree-like creatures. The bear attack are strange to see in the harsh environment of space. But with an innate ability to revive dead worlds, their potential is considerable and likely to follow different paths than their galactic peers. We're going to choose that one. Because um, they actually have a pretty good starting setup. Alright, customize. I'm going to leave everything as much as I can um, default for this first game. And then we'll go from there. Customize Galaxy. I uh, will leave all of this default. And we'll just play as is. So, opponents, we're going to play with. We're actually gonna, going to make it an eight person game. And I'm going to replace one of them with uh, one of this one with a different one because I hate. How they stare into my soul. Uh, start game. So this is on Epic, 40 bucks uh, for the beta. It was in alpha for about a year, maybe a little less than that, uh, up until beta. And I've been, I've been kind of been watching it, uh, being ready for it since it came out about in alpha. And it was so nice to get an email from the startup peeps the code to uh, try out the beta because I really love what they're doing over there um, and I really love especially what they're doing with galactic civilizations so I'm, I'm very excited uh, I got up early at six o'clock in the morning to record this before getting off to classes and I'm, I'm really excited So we'll be seeing this probably two times this week, Tuesday and Friday. Uh, yesterday we played some Expeditions Rome. Uh, that was super fun. Uh, I'm going to record more of that. Uh, now February, this is the first video of February. Uh, February is going to be a huge month. I'll get into that more throughout the video. But in terms of gaming, uh, I don't know how we're going to get through it all. But we're going to try our darndest to get through it all. So let's read through this. Denizens of a Garden Paradise, the bear attack followed a unique evolutionary path for a space-faring civilization, being merely the most advanced of an array of, of symbiotic life forms in their homeworld's ecosystem. Peaceful by nature, but incredibly intolerant of pollution on both a moral and physical level, the bear attack have been greatly dismayed by the behavior they've witnessed in the other species of the galaxy, and aren't shy from expressing it. Also, don't ever ask them when their leaves will fall off. The Baratech excel at creating great planets. Their ability to transform a dead world to a living one allows them to create new colonies to feed into their core worlds and make even an hospitable solar system bastions of life. So there's this is how we start. This is our starting system. Got a few ships here. We're going to... Uh, this is our starting world. You can double click on it and see all of this i did just a little bit of game before recording so i kind of knew what i was doing um so there's our capital city heart of our civilization so it's adjacency bonuses get plus two level to all so we can kind of essentially we can essentially um build whatever district we want here I'm not going to do that yet. What we're going to do is we're going to move our units around. So this guy has unlimited range. 
Uh, it is a probe. So it's basically going to probe information. So we're just going to move it, move it around. What we're going to do, we're going to move it. Outside the system. It only has eight hit points, so we got to be really careful. It's in the BGS Longeva. That's the Thea. To survey nearby anomalies. So that's going to take three weeks to survey. We're just going to have to let it stay there and do its thing. Leader candidates have arrived. Order the shipyard to construct a new colony ship. Don't we already have a colony ship? Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, choose next ship to construct. Colony ship. Done. <coughs> so, assign a leader to an available commander ship. Uh, let's do the blight. Unassigned leaders. There are no unassigned leaders. What are you telling me to do that for? I don't have any unassigned leaders. We have three executive orders we can choose from right off the bat. So we can print money, which will drop our approval rating by a tenth. I don't want to do that. Um, how do I check our approval rating? So let's do uh, Telescope Takeover. Private corporations have advanced security equipment, which we can put immediate to use. Okay, so we now have telescopes that we can use. Select a new policy to enact. So we have coerced colonization. If we are to inspire a colonized the galaxy, we need to inspire and sit our citizens. This can be done through propaganda, incentives, or force. Doubles population growth, but decreases approval rating by 5%. So we have an 83% approval rating. Uh, that is really good. Don't I don't want to get rid of that if I don't have to. Now if I lower the taxes and modify the approval to 94%. I, I don't want to be that kind of leader that is really well liked. But I don't want to be one... That is really well, really overly hated either, because then if you if you're overly hated, you can't get stuff done. Uh, but you need to get stuff done that people may not agree with. Uh, defensive measures plus twenty percent, but minus twenty five percent ship range. Uh, plus fifty percent food. I think this is going to be the one that we uh, go with for that extra food, because we can also increase our gross income. Uh, through influence. Uh, let's do Heart of the Empire. No, let's do Grove Growth. I think that's the most practical thing we need right now. Build a Xeno Archaeology module on any nearby star base to study this precursor relic. We gotta check that out. There's plenty of artifacts and anomalies in our system to keep this survey ship busy for a while. So there's our research tree, our technology library.
That's a lot of tech. I haven't even looked at this yet. That's a lot of tech. That is a ungodly amount of tech. For a beta game, for an early access title, this has a lot of content. And I'm very excited about that. Uh, space elevators allows us to quickly move resources into orbit and begin constructing supply ships. Uh, armed shuttles allows construction of armed spacecraft. I think military might be a good idea to have right off the bat here. Uh, we'll probably do that. Allows instant communication across instant, infinite distances, enabling more direct control. Allows us to detect subspace streams. Let's do armed shuttles. Research complete. Spaceships are fragile things. There's no great feat destroying them. The real art is destroying the enemy before they do you. New equipment will be required if we have to come out on the right side of that calculation more often. Let's do space elevators. Done. Research complete. Wow, these things are being researched so fast. What is going on? Were those like earlier texts that we just didn't have yet? Idle colony. So we can drag an improvement. So we can build Elon's lift. Which is a manufacturing improvement. The galaxy's first space elevator. Maintenance plus zero. Uh, manufacturing plus 20. Opportunity plus one. Adjacency bonus. So we gotta put this where manufacturing is already. There. Done. Uh, press tab to select the fleet waiting for orders. Our colony ship is still waiting for orders. And that's the end of our turn. Research complete. No more outposts in orbit. A starbase is an extend. No beer outposts in orbit. Out no mere outposts in orbit. Jeez, I can't read today, man. It's a starbase is an extension of our very civilization, extending everything that makes us who we are, including but not incidentally our incredible defensive and shipbuilding capability. Uh, I think this is probably going to be something we do pretty fast here. The planetology research candidate, uh, which allows us to build agricultural districts in a six-week period. So let's do that. We battle for more than planets. If we are destroyed, then we must claim space itself and the precious resources it provides. Oh, uh, yeah, show me. So we have we have missions we can do in here as well. But right now, I want to get this car, uh, colony ship done. We're probably going to use this other colony ship pretty fast. Plenty more anomalies through here. We gotta expand our system, man. So we have instructor ship now. I don't think we had a minute ago.
Our people have built permanent structures in space before, but nothing like this. This star base is an extension of our very civilization. Everything we do, everything we are, can be found here and from it. We will surely extend our civilization even further. So Proxima Star Centauri Starbase 1 has been built. It's an economic starbase. Um, failing modules. We're going to build a Xeno Archaeology Lab, which will immediately, which will immediately do be done. So that's extra income, hopefully. Construction MOT. I was looking up there for our... That's our movement. Ah, uh, yeah. That makes more sense. Um... A survey ship still has two weeks remaining on s surveying this capsule anomaly. We're off to a good start, but I think we're going to end this episode here. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you like on it, subscribe, turn on notifications. And I'll see you on Friday for episode 2 of Galaxy 4 Beta.